change your spirit about that yeah so so what there's, brings you in there's nothing wrong with my spirit my apologies yeah, yeah i shouldn't have insinuated yeah so uh what brings you in today um i wish nothing did but my classical professor says i'm not doing jazz right whatever that means right right okay understandable well, well i'm sure i can i'm sure i can help you with that we'll see cool so do you want to play me like an exercise that you're working on right now um i guess great Cool, that, that sounds beautiful. Really, really nicely done. Oh yeah, it was. So if you want, you could add melodic chromaticism to that. So you were just playing like diatonic arpeggios, right? What is that you're talking about? So pretty much you were playing up every degree of the scale. Just show me that exercise. Okay. I just heard a lot of wrong notes. I couldn't even hear the tonality anymore. So really what's happening there is we're just embellishing you know, melodic harmony with chromaticism, you know, which is a great jazz technique that we can do when we're improvising. Is that just like a fancy way to say this how to play wrong notes? Well, uh, some people might feel that way, but you know, in, in the tradition of the jazz language, it's an effective way of, of, you know, line construction. Okay, well, do you have the sheet music for that? Yeah, totally, but I bet that if you, you know, focus right now, we could, we could actually figure it out on the spot. So pretty much, you just want to think of every note that you played and add a chromatic half step below that into the note. Whatever, I'll try. <laughs> You know, it might feel a little bit better if you, if you play it like this. I literally did that. Okay, so maybe you can play me a, a classical piece that you like to play. Okay, uh, give me a sec. This, uh, this helps you play better? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm getting all the spit out of my system. Oh, okay. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Inferior. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Do you know who Bach is? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is part of his cello suite. Oh, beautiful. Surprised you know about him. Yeah, yeah, I've studied him a little bit. No, oh, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> and you know I was embellishing the harmony that that you were outlining in that that Bach cello harmony song. yeah how did, how did you know the harmony yeah well, I was able to hear there's it. no piano right there's no harpsichord whatever can you do this one <laughs> Hmm. 
how are you doing that? Oh, I'm just improvising. What scale was that? Uh, it was a little more complicated than just a scale. Complexity? Yeah. What do jazz players know about complexity? Well, uh... Have you ever even read a score by Beethoven? I have, actually. What year was he born? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer if you didn't butcher the pieces of these classical masters of the past. How dare you disrespect them? Right, well, that's not my intention. You know, I'm just having fun, playing, playing some... Fun? Yeah. Music's not about fun. Oh, sorry. It's about honoring the tradition. Oh, my apologies. Um, can you teach me how to improvise? Yeah, totally. Okay, how do I do it? Well, uh, you know, it's not something we can learn instantly, but, you know, with working on, like, the exercises that we went over before, and, you know, just starting to gradually understand how... How, how about I just improvise for you, you tell me what to do. I've been playing enough to know mm -hmm. that I'm already a professional. If you can play classical, you can play anything. All right. Got it. Crafting my arm here. Cool, well, that was that was very hip. Um, that was like a modern classical approach to improv. Maybe like a modern jazz improvisation would be like this type of thing. <laughs> It sounds like a tornado. <laughs> I, I could do that. Okay, cool. Cool. Some nice effects there. So you want to improvise together? Yeah. Um, what should we play? You know, uh, an F blues. Uh, you know how that so works? Is it your F? My F? Well, it'll be concert F, so it'll uh, be my G, your no. D. No. <laughs> Okay, look, man, I don't think I could do that right now. Okay, yeah, it takes time and patience for sure, but you know, I'm sure with a little bit of practice each day on some jazz techniques, you'll, you'll totally get a hang of it. Mm. Mm. If you want to do it. Mm, I don't. I don't like swing. I don't like all the random notes, all the chromaticism, as you guys call it. Um, why would I want to butcher the great notes that our forefathers gave us, the straight eighth notes? You know, they're just superior in quality. You know, they say the wisdom of the ages. Their music should just last for hundreds of years. Jazz just started. You guys are gonna die in like probably the next ten years. So I'm just gonna stick with my music because it's superior. Cool, yeah, man. I mean, if, if that's how you feel, you're totally entitled to your own opinion about music, and, and it's not an opinion; it's a fact. But okay, I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, okay. Screw this. Nice to meet you, man. I'm out. My apologies. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have insinuated. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know, so sorry. <laughs> a great jazz technique that we can do when we're improvising. <laughs> Surprised you know about it. Yeah, yeah, I've studied it a little bit. Oh, 
I find that hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>